Is the fact that I'm getting pissed on video funny or what? I'm curious. Men rights. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Okay, that's fair. Men rights is fucking hilarious. Why? Because it's so fucking stupid, I want to gag. It's hilarious that people actually can open their goddamn face holes and say the words that relate to this fucking topic. Like, oh, I, men's rights, we're oppressed. Fuck your fucking fuck and all of the fuck related to it. The only time white male landowners have been oppressed is... Never! Fuck you! You were never oppressed. So we have this whole thing that's happening out there in the wide, wide world of the internet, which is, as we all know, a collection of where everybody and anybody can say what they want, no matter how ridiculous or retarded it is. Now, when we have this issue of men's rights, right, you know, oh, women are getting... Fuck it, I'm not even going to start with that whole bullshit of where I try to paraphrase what they're saying because it's just going to make me more angry. Because when we have these stupid fuckers going around saying, well, men are oppressed because women aren't just bending over and letting them do whatever we want anymore, and women want rights and stuff, and I'm not okay with that. That's really what all this bullshit boils down to, is these guys are complaining that women want to say in things, and they're not okay with that. Like, women need to be barefoot pregnant in the kitchen, right? That's where they belong, or some... I don't even fucking know. This topic annoys me so much, I could just... My, me my message almost to you could be pick up the camera and throw it. If a camera wasn't worth money, I could just do that and call that my video on men's rights. It's like... You know, women got the right to vote, and you had a bunch of men complaining about women are inferior, and how could they be expected to understand the complexities of political situations because they're women. And when you actually look at politics for more than half a fucking second, you realize that the only complexity here is how much lies people just tell one another and expect each other not to call them out on it. I've seen the complaints from the men, oh, well, women can claim rape so much easier. You know, let's just start with that. Let's start with that because I'm, I'm in a mood to be pissed off. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that men were doing over 90% of the raping, they almost would have a complaint, except for the fact that men are almost completely responsible for rape. So I, I see a problem when men argue this, which is, oh, well, almost all of rape is man raping woman or men raping men, but we have a problem with the fact that men are being accused of rape so much. Well, stop raping each other! Maybe the accusations would stop if you weren't so fucking guilty. And you can say, oh, that's really harsh. Most men aren't raping people and all that. But, you know, statistics bear out well enough, which is that most of the rapes are done by men. And this is an incredibly important thing that must be noted on when men are saying, oh, well, it's a, it's a universal problem. No, it isn't. It's not a universal problem. It's not a women raping men problem. It's not a women raping women problem. It's a men raping people problem. And if statistics didn't bear this out on such an overwhelming level, maybe you'd have a complaint. But as I see it right now on the rape issue, women are kind of at a disadvantage. And by kind of, I mean completely. And by completely, I mean this system is 100% slanted against them in every way. And if you want to sit there and look at me straight in the eyes and say, well, men have an equal complaint to women here, I'm going to laugh at you before I slap you. Because that's not only disrespectful to women, it's disrespectful to anybody who pays attention to the truth. Now, another important thing is this whole idea that men have about, oh, women are trying to take away men's rights and take away our balls and our manness or machismo something. Apparently, women asking for rights somehow removes the testicle off of men or something. And <laughs> they're sucking our mojo out in the night. Please leave the laughter in. Yes! And yes, I do have a woman in attendance laughing at you because you're stupid. If you want to go on with this logic, you can, but be aware of the fact that the rest of us in the world are going to laugh at you and think, well, I wonder how small his penis is. I mean, if this is all, this is what he's going to devote his life to, this guy here, talk about how women are getting uppity and how he just is too 19th century to handle women having rights, then 
I'm going to laugh at you. And I'm going to unabashedly, unashamedly, and ridiculously laugh at you because you're silly. If there is a group in the world who has the least reason to complain about oppression and lack of rights and war crimes and everything else that the white male landowner has done to everybody else in the world, well, it would be the white male landowner who has no right to complain. How about that? You know, the one perpetrating most of the acts throughout history against other people. Who'd have thought that they wouldn't have the right to complain about that? And I'm not saying that, oh, well, none of this ever happens, or that rape accusations are not ever abused, or anything like that. It happens. It does, and it's an unfortunate truth that they, there has been cases of women claiming rape where it wasn't true. This happens. I'm not trying to pretend that that doesn't happen. However, when you have a group of white dudes get together and start bitching about how women just have too many, you know, things going for them, and how society favors women too much, and how men are oppressed. Well, <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you really kidding me? Are you, like, you can hear the laughter, and that is not just the laughter of my uh, audience. That is the laughter of society laughing at you for being... I don't even know if we have a word yet for that. Like, we constantly create new words in this society, but I don't think we've yet come up with a word for the level of ignorance required to come up with that thesis. I just don't think we have it yet. It's like men's rights activists. When you say that term, my first response is to laugh, and my second response is, oh wait, you're serious. <laughs> because if there's one group in the world that does not need an advocate for rights, it's white male landowners. Because, let's be honest, throughout history, who's been doing all the fucking raping, pillaging, and killing in the world? Oh, wait, it's us! How'd that happen, right? Oh, man. We just goofed up right there. I mean, you know, everything from Native Americans... By the way, look at the particular age group that Christopher Columbus and his first settlers like to take as their comfort women, and then come back to me about men being responsible. Or men being moral authorities, right? Come back to me with that after you analyze history and the actions of the people now talking about men's rights and all of that. Get back to me on that after you look at some history. Until then, I think it's easy enough to say that when you have a bunch of overprivileged people who do not understand the very idea of hardship, much less the realities of going through being a disenfranchised, disadvantaged minority or group without power in this world, that I think until you've gone through a little bit of that, like, I'm a white guy. I don't really know about what it's like to be a disadvantaged minority. I, I can't speak to that. All I can say is to the other white male people talking about how we're all disadvantaged. No, we're not. Are you kidding? We rule the world, basically. And if you try to tell me for half a moment that you are disadvantaged, I will pull my white card on you and say, shut the fuck up because you're not. And really, there's nothing to even think about here because if you look at the world, society, everything, and you look at who is in power and who is not, who has the money, who doesn't, who's ruling the world right now, you can clearly see that it's just a bunch of fucking first world problems. People need something to bitch about and suddenly there's an issue, right? It's all it is. If you had a real issue to complain about, you wouldn't have food on your plate. This group right here, the part that I'm a part of, we don't have fuck to complain about. And that's not anything to think about. So in other words, fuck you. Don't laugh. Get it out now. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Just, Daniel. Or wait till Don't. I... Don't. You can... <laughs> See? You're about as helpful as a drink of alcohol no, no, no. for an alcoholic. No, seriously. Don't. You see what I'm saying? You're about as helpful as a fucking... Shot of scotch in front of an alcoholic who's trying to quit. Stop it. Now, I'm going to try to do a video. Hey, Ryan, stop being an instigator.